Cyclone Freddy much stronger over the Mozambique Channel. Well, the storm that continues to defy the odds, blowing up into a Category 2 during the course of today, located at 22.9 degrees south, 42 degrees east, which puts it just off the coast of Madagascar, hasn't really moved very much in the last two days. Well, there it is with winds of 100 miles per hour and a pressure of 968 millibars moving northwest now at 6 miles per hour, that's 9 kilometers per hour, as of 7 p.m. Madagascar time, Eastern African time this March the 7th. A category 2 on the Saffir Simpson scale continuing on its march across the ocean and northwestwards movement now over the Mozambique Channel where it has already been once. And here it is once again with its wind field expanding a little bit, particularly on the southern side there. We are on day 29 of this storm since we first started trekking off the coast of Australia. It is 139 kilometers from Salary on the southwestern coast, 163 from Andavo Andavadoaka, 182 from Toliara, 191 from Morombe and 374 from Morondava. The storm continuing to intensify throughout the course of today. It has leveled off a little bit, but we could see further intensification overnight. But it will start to pull away from land now, and its wind field is fairly small, only just reaching the coast. We've still got the same kind of messaging that we had the other day with regards to the primary hazards, and that's for widespread flooding. Significant amounts of rain over large parts of Madagascar and Mozambique from the storm's wider influence. Uh, areas that have already been inundated, flash flooding likely near the direct path of the storm, widespread prolonged flooding is expected to be a bigger concern in the wider regions as far northwest and inland as Zambia. Here is the forecast over the next seven days and you can see firstly the movement northwestwards, the slight growth in wind field and then it starts to slow down probably and gets closer and closer to Kelly Mane. This is the latest forecast trend showing that the storm may not even make landfall and start to turn back around to the southeastwards and prolonging this storm's existence even longer. Let me remind you that the record for the longest consecutive uh, days as a storm was Hurricane John in 1994 at 31 days and this storm has done uh, not consecutively but we are on day 29 it spent some time as a remnant low there's the forecast uh, sorry the observations right now JTWC and AMSU going with 100 miles per hour Mateo France a little bit behind there just over 90 miles per hour and the ADT systems are very far behind with the for with the storm's current uh, position. Here's the forecast from Matteo France. Interestingly they have a little bit of weakening halfway through that track before re-strengthening and then onto landfall just east of Kelly Mane. I would quite doubt that because I would say that the storm is more likely to peak in sort of that area that they're talking about that it will weaken a little bit. This is the GFS forecast and you can see they're strengthening although the GFS is a bit far behind already because uh, it already is category 2 and the GFS initially initializes that model a little bit lower than that but you can see on the parent GFS model that it takes the storm back out towards the southeast later on than what the current forecast that we're putting out is showing uh, but nonetheless Pretty much all of the models are hopping on board with this. ECMWF I think was on board with it earlier though quite a little bit later. It is an uncertain situation and there is a lot of question marks still ahead of this storm. Uh, it may not slow down, it may just be a, the fact that it's a very low confidence forecast. But either way, whatever happens, it does look like a massive rain event will continue for the coast of Mozambique, this time close to Kalimane and even including Beira as well further towards the southwest and well inland over Malawi and towards Zambia and Zimbabwe. Uh, you can see here on the simulated uh, radar reflectivity some of those red zones showing just where the highest rain rates will end up being and that's the highest potential for flash flooding right there uh, as you can see quite clearly around the landfall zone and this is the projected rainfall expectations 
Uh, it has uptrended once again, actually, and we are expecting along the coast of Mozambique probably around 24 inches of rainfall, that's 600 millimeters, extending quite far inland. Uh, areas there that are getting well above 10 inches, 250 millimeters. Over Madagascar, we're still looking at around a few areas of around 5 inches or more, 125 millimeters. But the main concern now is for continental Africa, especially when you look inland but on the coast as well. And take a look at what happens further out at sea. Uh, potentially up to near 50 inches if the storm stalls before reaching land. So I guess there is a silver lining there that the land areas aren't going to get that much. But it is still going to be quite devastating at this rate. Sea surface temperatures are looking decent, around about 27 degrees Celsius. All around that area, maybe a little bit lower in some spots, uh, but certainly keeping up. Um, although it is a little bit below average actually, uh, probably mainly due to Freddy uh, and its first passage weakening those sea surface temperatures a little bit with all of that cloud cover. So let's check that satellite imagery again, you saw a little bit of it at the beginning and you can find this satellite imagery on our website force13.com slash satellite, a new place for satellite imagery, we've been highly anticipating this and you can see the storm's motion there generally northwestwards, maybe even north northwestwards there, the eye popping out quite well earlier on in the day uh, but it has just a little bit clouded over but convection still right up there and this storm looks in a decent position for further intensification down the line. Uh, but it is almost following the coast of Madagascar right now, uh, continuing there. Quite a few reds around and I think it's really shoring itself up at the moment. And here's some late visible images, uh, supposedly an animated uh, selection from Ram Slider, but it's quite temperamental. Uh, but you can still see a few images there of the storm uh, quite clearly and shows the influence of the storm passing off well on towards the Masserine Islands actually. And this is just a quick view here of it motioning towards the northwest.